Welcome back. My name is Nick and I have Kyle here with me. Peckles with the zero on Instagram. He's a super talented artist. Go check him out. And he's also a big Dune fan. What are we covering today? We are covering the Tleilaxu. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm going to learn a lot. I'm going to learn how to pronounce it too. Hopefully by the end of this video. Tleilaxu! <laughs> close. Close. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Anyways. Every comment is entered to win a shirt from the com. Go check it out. Uh, we have a lot of cool shirts. Kyle's actually wearing the Dune shirt we designed. It's super cool. It's part of our Dune Primer series. If you don't know, we've been covering Dune from all the different topics, from the Catholic Bible to the the Great Houses to Spice to um, the the Trading Guild or Truly, the Spacing it's Guild. Up, it's shaping up to be an exhaustive compilation. It is building and building yes. and building. And it's so much fun. I'm learning a lot. And Kyle's educating me a lot. So it's come along for the ride. We're here until the second Dune movie drops at the end of this, and at the end of this year. And Won't then, see us again. No. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be space traveling somewhere super far. But Kyle's oh, yeah. going to get us going with this deep dive on the Tleilaxu. All right. Yeah, the Tleilaxu, yes. So now the only reference we saw of the Tleilaxu, we didn't see an actual Tleilaxu person, right? Or is there mm. also known the Benny Tleilax, right? Okay. Um, is, uh, is, is there, is that spider creature in the Harkonnen stronghold? When oh, the uh, Reverend mother was there. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. That, that, that monstrosity where she's like, where she's like, it obeys well enough when she commands it to leave kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Um, that was a Tleilaxu genetic, you know, construction. Right. Um, so, um, they're a group. So, so the Tleilaxu are a group of secretive genetically altered humans who inhabit the planet Tleilax. Okay. Makes sense with the name. Yeah, of course, yes. Um, and the uh, customs and ethics of the Tleilaxu led to widespread revulsion by the other cultures of the known universe, right? Because they're, you know, they have a history that we're going to get into that kind of make them unsavory people. Mm -hmm. um, so getting into the origins of them, right? So they emerged from the unallied planet of Tlulaxa. So this is the previous name. Remember, we're talking millennia of time, right? So the name of of, of uh, Tlalax used to be Tlulaxa, mm. right? So sometime in, in like millennia ago, right? Um, during the early years of what was called the League of Nobles. So this, so the League of Nobles, they predated the Butlerian Jihad by a bit. Right. So they were um, they were a, a confederacy of about 10,000 or so planets that had resisted the AI scourge. Right. Mm. So then them sort of coming into this confederacy was the undercurrent for how they then began the jihad. Right. They were a power base to go against the machines. Right. So um, the Tleilaxu began as like a purely religious group that emerged from like a combination of Zen Sunni and Zen Sufi theologies. We covered that a little bit in the uh, Orange Catholic mm -hmm. Bible episode um, and were known then mainly as slavers and merchants during that time. Right. Mm. Now, when the Butlerian Jihad occurred, right, um, by that time, Tlulaxa uh, scientists were noted for like their skill in genetics and cloning by that. Point, okay. Right? So the planet was rumored to have numerous organ farms and that turned out to be true. Right. Mm. Um, basically, during the conflict, there was a heightened demand for organs and tissue, right, for wounded soldiers and like Sense. rejuvenation and stuff like that. And the Tulaxa leveraged their large slave population um, mm. as organ reservoirs. Mm. So just, yeah, like very unsavory stuff, right? They're, they're essentially using. And this is why they, they work organ. with the, the Harkonnens? Uh, well, yes, because you can, you can, you could, I mean, because the Harkonnens are, they're depraved, mm. right? And so anything that like, and, and of course, Villeneuve, when he, when he was showing that creature, that yeah. wasn't of course in the book, but he wanted that as a nod to show the depravity of the Harkonnens, right? Oh, okay. And they have these six sort of tastes, right? Um, so the, this organ, these organ farms and this, these organ reservoir stuff, like this remained a secret for like quite a while until Xavier Harkonnen, ah, uh -oh. a ancestor of the Harkonnens. Well, back then he was a good guy or so the narrative is, right? Good he guy. revealed this knowledge to Vorian Atreides, right? Who was his mm. buddy, right? And, and then basically Vorian communicated this to the League of Nobles. And he's like, hey, 
like uh, these guys are doing some effed up stuff, right? Mm. Um, and so the nobles were horrified and basically this completely shifted public opinion um, negatively towards Tlulaxa as a whole, mm. right? So like the planet and its population went into hiding after outrage mobs destroyed like a large number of organ farms. Oh, wow. Right? Um, so basically now let's flash forward to the late Carino empire. So if we're not talking during the time of Paul and Leto the first, we're talking about, um, so during the time of Paul, we have the reign of Emperor Shaddam Carino the fourth, right? Yes. The, uh, we're still in the late Carino dynasty because this is his dad. Okay. And this happens, right? So um, a few decades before the Arrakis affair, the master researcher Hidar Fin Ajitika, Ajitika mm. uh, came close to developing a synthetic spice melange called Ajidamal. Um, oh, really? And so the idea of a synthetic spice was so enticing to the Padisha emperor at the time, who in this case was Elrude Carino the Ninth, right? Mm -hmm. um, was persuaded um, by Ajidika to allow him to conquer the planet of Ix. Um, but th that's the thing. All of it like turned around on, on the Tleilaxu. So unfortunately for the Tleilaxu, um, Hidarfin Ajitika failed in both of those endeavors, right? He, mm. um, while Tleilaxu took Ix, um, uh, it was shortly reconquered by House Vernius, who who ruled Ix in the first place, right? Mm. So they retook it. And then the spice alternative, Ajitamal, uh, was never fully synthesized, um, and actually, that would later um, that would later be a part of what would be called the Great Spice War, which happened about twenty years before Paul's birth. Um, and that's kind of a cool little saga about that. Um, and then um, the Great Spice War—that sounds like a topic that would be fun to cover. Yes, perhaps we could. <laughs> um, and then and then during and after the Arrakis affair. So as 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 you know, with a lot of these, I don't want to go too far into the future past the movie or the first mm -hmm. book, right? So sometimes I hint a little bit. So it'll be like this. So like during during um during the Arrakis affair and after, you start to see coming out of Tlay uh um uh out of Tlay sorry, out of Tleilax, um, mm -hmm. Gola technology. Are you familiar with Gola technology? No, should I? Should I? Okay. Be? Well, here's the thing. In the first book, I don't think it's mentioned. Okay. In the second book, it's everywhere. And the rest of the books, Golas are a thing, okay. right? Like, and they're coming out of Tleilax, like Tle, uh, from the Tleilaxu. And uh, it's, it, I would even say it's a pretty big plot point later on. Um, Spoilers. But, yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, and then of course, this would play a larger part um, after the first Dune novel, right? So, mm -hmm. so yeah. So I don't know if we're we're going to see any of that in the uh, in the part part two. You know, I don't know how far they're going to go. If I'm they're just part gonna go, two is just going to be to where the book ends, the first book, right? Yeah, probably where he ascends the the Golden Lion Throne, and, and yeah, the, yeah. The, let's just say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler territory. Sorry, everyone. Um, I mean, the, the throne could be a matter of, of many different things. It could, be a, uh, it could yeah. be a toilet seat for all we know that's made of spice. <laughs> it's made from the innards of worms. <laughs> the golden chair. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> the, gold, the golden um, throne. And uh, so that, that concludes where we're currently at mm. with the Tleilaxu. Sorry, to uh, this thought just came to my mind. Yeah. How wasteful would a toilet be on that planet? Oh, dude. On Arrakis? <laughs> yeah. That would be decadent. It's like, I'm sorry, wait a minute. You use water to flush your waste? Yeah. <laughs> you don't squeeze the moisture out of every right. drop of your waste? You don't squeeze every moisture until it's a dry husk? Interesting. <laughs> In fact, I'm, I'm enraged that you would use water in such a sacrilegious fashion that's so awesome <laughs> thank you so much kyle for the awesome no, breakdown thank you. that was great um Love that. into insight Love of just more technology more history more backbone to this universe this universe is huge and there's so much rich lore in it and it just helps build on what we're going to see too in the stories it's just knowing all the little background things is just 
helping me enjoy the movies so much more. It's kind of like when we covered His Dark Materials. Just so you know, we covered His Dark Materials on this channel. But just when you have that background of the lore of the books, it just yeah. adds so much more to what you're watching. You can also be disappointed because they're leaving stuff out. But on that note, thank you guys so much. Uh, comment down below if you found this insightful, if you enjoyed this, if you're excited for the new Dune movie, let us know down below. Go to Instagram, Pecos with the Zero on Instagram. He's a super talented artist. He's really into sci-fi too with his art. He's working on a cool sci-fi project with a buddy. Go check it out. I'm not going to say more. Go learn about it on his Instagram. It's super cool. I'm actually hoping they both come on to do a breakdown on their awesome universe. Fingers crossed. Comment down below if you would like to see that or hear that or um, I guess see only what they allow us to see. And on that note, every comment's entered to win a shirt from the bestnerdyshirts.com. So subscribe to get all the updates because the beginning of the month, we're going to announce the winner on the live stream. So subscribe for all the updates. We'll see you on the next Azard. Shaka Booey. Shaka Booey. That's a new one. Of, of, what, yeah, what's Shaka Booey from? I, I thought you made that up, man.